Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Leo. So Leo or Cross Watcher, wherever you have this planetary placement and wherever you are on the planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we are very grateful for your presence. So thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah Tiberius said I love you. It's solid, it's unconditional, it's a fact. If you're going to claim this reading, please only do it from your higher self and for your higher good. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, the information on how to do that is in the box below. And lastly, could you please hit the like and subscribe and ring that bell? It is fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you anything and it will make you feel good because it's positive energy that you are expending out into the universe that has no choice but to attract back to you. In the meantime, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every free and form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Leo. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, my ancestors, for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Leo. Leo, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and anybody could be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody here today. Yeah? Yeah. Show me Leo. What's going on in the lands of Leo? Leo, please. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo. Okay, Leo, you got a ten of cups in reverse. Some kind of emotional dissatisfaction. Maybe a family breakup, domestic conflict, disharmony. Show me. Clean ground. Leo. Leo, please and thank you. All right, Leo, here you go. Okay, so somebody's being left out in the cold here. This is it. This could have had some kind of financial ramifications, but I do feel that this is some kind of an emotional freeze out. I mean, that's what I'm hearing, emotional freeze out. Because of some kind of domestic disharmony, maybe family breaking up. Somebody feels left out in the cold and lonely here. Show me. Mm -mm. What's in the, the foundation of this situation for Leo? The foundation of this situation, Jesus Christ, Leo. Now you got a nine of cups in reverse. So there was some kind of a energy of some kind of lack of fulfillment. Um, a disappointment. Um... Yeah, some kind of discontentment, a lack of success, a lack of a wish coming true, unhappiness, emotional, yeah, again, being left out in the cold, freeze out, an emotional freeze out, I'm hearing, wow. Okay, so what is this um, crowning, please? Crowning, you're off balance because of this, look at this, you got the two of uh, pentacles in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse, we're talking about maybe feeling overwhelmed, unorganized, it's an imbalance, all right? Somebody threw you off balance here. Show me what's coming in that Leo does not see. Please and thank you. Oh, did you see that? I love it for you, Leo. First of all, this is your card, the sun. Happiness, warmth, love, okay? Some kind of, uh, whatever this is for you, it's going to make you so freaking happy. This is some kind of success and confidence. Something can be illuminated to you. Looks like a lot of you are going to find some kind of emotional contentment here, some kind of community, some kind of um, reason to celebrate. It's the Four of Wands. It's Aries energy for stability. Happiness, stability, love, harmony, peace. Love it, love it, love it. What's in the actual environment right now? Especially after coming at the... Okay, the actual environment, you're being resilient here. You're um, standing tall. You're not taking off for an answer, excuse me. <coughs> oh, God, man. Here we go. You also have... Um, you know, it's, it's showing true grit. It's just... It's, it's, yeah. Being very, like I said, resilient and persistent. Persistence pays. I'm hearing persistence pays. All right. There you go. Now, Spirit's advising you to make sure that you are healed and happy and you know the steps you want to take forward. Make sure your body is getting the proper rest, nutrition. You know, the Four of Swords always comes after some kind of emotional pain, which this would be emotionally painful, right? Some kind of uh, being left out in the cold and not being happy or satisfied, no success, emotional discomfort, a breakup perhaps, being off balance. You have to make sure you're healing here. Spirit wants you to heal. You have a Four of Swords here so that you can have this new happiness that's coming in for you. That's Spirit's advice. Heal. Um, make sure you're rejuvenated. Make sure you're p at peace with yourself. 
<coughs> contemplate your next steps forward. Excuse me. <coughs> Somebody doesn't want this app, but oh, wow. They don't realize the big mouth that I have. Hold on. What's the most likely outcome? <coughs> I have such a tickle in my throat right now. It's ridiculous. Show me the most likely outcome for Leo. Working hard. Commitment, dedication, and focus. Now, this could be... Excuse me, I gotta get water. This could be on your craft. Like, you're gonna be working hard, making money, whatever you do for a living. Or if this is gonna be a new relationship for you, maybe you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be committed, dedicated, and focused to each other. But for a lot of you, I do feel like you're working hard here. You're saving your money. You're maybe trying to become a master at your skill, um, something like this, an expert. It takes a lot of commitment, dedication, and focus. You're not even worried about what's going on around you. Using your head over your heart and manifesting, deliberately manifesting. That's the deliberate creator, your future. Putting the work in, getting your hands dirty, all right? Look, this person's clothes are tatted and ripped. They're not even changing clothes. This person gets up, works, eats, goes to the bathroom, works some more, rinse, repeat. Like, this is what I'm getting. Because somebody is actually putting in the work, getting their hands dirty, excuse me, <coughs> being the deliberate creator, using their head over their heart to manifest their future. And what it looks like you're manifesting here is some kind of financial stability, okay? That you're going to be very defensive over. You, you're manifesting a king, uh, ten of pentacles here. It's not just financial stability, okay, the, te uh, the ten of pentacles. Do I know what I'm talking about here? Yeah, we got a King of Swords. This is, I don't even know what I just said. But whatever I said, I guess it was supposed to come out. What you're manifesting here, and you're going to be very protective and resilient about, is your Ten of Pentacles. Let's get this clear. Somebody is trying, return to send to tenfold expeditiously. Yeah, how about that? Here we go. Now my voice is stronger. Look, you got this Ten of Pentacles here. This is your Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is Legacy, Roots, Foundation, st Stability, Tradition, Wealth, Family, Legacy, you know... Yeah, so, you know, and, and yeah, definitely using your head over your heart, but putting in the work and not giving up, okay? Not giving up. So you get it. So God bless you. You have Leo Aries. Yeah, has the most predominant. Show me, uh, clarify this top row for Leo, please and thank you. Clarify the top row for Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, you have the King of Swords in reverse coming out. So somebody here that is cruel, you could be dealing with somebody who's really mean, really cruel, very emotionally manipulative, just a real son of a bitch. Like the King of Swords is the coldest person you'll ever meet. This is somebody who's very um, deceitful, dishonest, mean. It's a mean person. Somebody who misuses their power. They're ruthless. They'll do anything to anybody. They're very manipulative. They lie. It's a son of a bitch is what that is. So uh, you know what? It's a good thing. That, that this ending or ends it or whatever happens here, okay? Because it, it was your favor for you. Believe me, universe was doing you a favor. You saw this clearly. Show me. Now, you also have the King of Wands in reverse. Listen, you could have been dealing with two different people or somebody that has air and fire in their chart, but whoever this is, it was a narcissistic, very cruel narcissistic son of a bitch. King of Wands in reverse. They lie, they cheat, they blame it on you. They sit around and play with you and your head just to get your reaction. They, they'll lie and they'll tell you something to see how you react to it. Manipulative like a motherfucker, this son of a bitch is. Okay, this person has fire, king of rods, so that's Leo energy, and the king of swords in reverse. Either that or you were dealing with two people. I don't know if they're working together, but I feel like this is one person with air and fire in their chart. Show me. Particularly Leo and maybe Gemini. Show me. Show me what's going on up here. So no wonder why it was left out in the cold and sadness and, and disappointment and threw you off balance. How could it not be? Now you got the Ten of Pentacles. Look. Ten of Pentacles, again, there's some kind of financial reward for this. I'm telling you. This is could this could have been somebody you were married to. Ten of Pentacles. Could be some kind of Oh, there could be some kind of fighting over over money here. You got a Ten of Pentacles, some kind of wealth, some kind of inheritance, some kind of... Uh, this person might have been very mean and cruel and tried to exert some kind of control. Let me see. And here we go. Now, you also have the Queen of Rods. So now we have Aries in the house. All right, Leo. So now you got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands generally is somebody very um, charming and um, vibrant. This is somebody very charismatic, optimistic, confident. Okay, it's somebody that, you know, this could be an entrepreneur, somebody that puts action into things. They could be assertive. They could be intimidating. All right. It could have been some kind of financial situation here. 
Somebody could have been being a real son of a bitch. Or maybe two people. You could have had a fire sign and... Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Can it... Show me... Yeah, there's some kind of surprise or shock, something you don't see coming, something that's going to change everything. The tower, Scorpio energy, okay? Yeah, that's what this is. This is, this, this is some kind of chaos, some kind of destruction, some kind of tragedy, confusion, something that surprisingly and shockingly, okay? Now you got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody could have been emotionally manipulative and immature here, okay? With the Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse, somebody might have had water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very immature, deceitful. Even, yeah, let me see what's going on here. Okay, so here, yeah, now you got the ten of rods in reverse. So come what's coming out in reverse. So again, somebody leaving any of themselves of all the burdens, baggage, and bullshit. Okay, ten of rods, ten of wands. In reverse, somebody had too much responsibility. Somebody, you know, they're delegating it back. They're, they're alleviating themselves of the weight of the world on their shoulders. They're standing resilient and strong. They're not taking no for an answer. It's the nine of rods. Uh, this person's not going to give up. This person's not going to back down. Okay. Somebody's not taking no for an answer. They're throwing back the bullshit and they're finished here. You have the hangman in reverse. Okay, so the hangman in reverse is Pisces energy. In reverse, the hangman is a very uh, discontent energy. It's disinterest. Somebody might be stalling here for time. Somebody does not want to see things in another point of view. They may feel like their hands are trapped to time the situation. But, you know, somebody might be repeating some kind of patterns, avoiding some kind of sacrifice. Somebody does not want to, like, open up their minds and look at things from any kind of another point of view. So what's happening to this person? They're stuck up in their head. They're depressed. They have anxiety. This is serious depression. They might have insomnia. They had headaches. They're driving themselves crazy up at night, is this person. Maybe they're not sleeping well. Somebody, let me see. Somebody might be ill here. Show me what's going on here. Why the Nine of Swords? Because somebody doesn't want to think about something in a different... Here, Four of Wands. Four of Wands. So again, coming in on the Four of Wands. Somebody here, it's about some kind of family situation or some kind of contentment. Somebody could be worried about some kind of stability. Somebody might be worried about, you know, finding their place here. The Four of Rods. You know, again, this is Aries energy for some kind of community. Some kind of... Uh, this could also be a reunion. Somebody might want some kind of a reunion here. Show me what's going on. Show me for Leo. Here you go. If there's some unfinished business, you got the world. Something was not completed here, okay? Could have had something to do with some kind of community or domestic situation. Somebody's up in their night head worried about it. But they don't seem to want to change or they could be stalling. You have the world in reverse. This is now Taurus energy for a lack of success or achievement here. And it could have something to do with a home or stability or community. There's a page of cups in reverse. Page of cups in reverse is an energy. Somebody could be dealing with um, inner childhood issues. There could be a lack of fulfillment here. This is, you could be dealing with a younger person. Somebody maybe who's immature or very vulnerable with the page of cups in reverse. Show me. Page of cups in reverse is also an energy of somebody who would probably be very, um, maybe naive. You have a Queen of Pentacles here. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. So this is somebody financially stable, maybe a business or a business owner, but somebody very business-minded. This could be an older person because they're very stable, goal-oriented, and routine-oriented. Somebody might be dealing with a child here, and maybe they want them to act or perform in a certain way, and this person is not doing it. There's unfinished business here. It has to also do with some finances. The Queen of Pentacles is financial. It is somebody who's very disciplined and practical and down to earth. Show me. Here we go. Now you have the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody who's loving, caring, kind, warm, affectionate. Could be a mother or mother figure here. This could definitely be somebody's mother here that has earth and water in their chart. It's like the matriarch of the family. Show me what's going on over here. All right, one more over here. You have the Six of Pentacles. So this is about benevolence and equal give and take. Okay, Mary. You got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles talks about even, okay? It's Libra energy. It's fairness. It's balance. It's having enough to give and to give, you know, equally to these, to maybe their children here. Look at this. 
Okay, maybe there's an unfinished business here. I don't know what's going on here, but somebody was cool and mean and did something with somebody's finances, okay? Could have been could have been anything. It could have been some kind of wealth or privilege or an inheritance. This could have been somebody that had Aries in their chart. There was some kind of surprise or shock. Somebody being emotionally manipulative here. And the, somebody might have... Okay. Somebody could have been being emotionally manipulative. There could have been some kind of surprise or shock. I feel like somebody, Ten of Rods, threw somebody, something back in somebody's face here. There was not, not taking no for an answer. Somebody does not want to see things from a different point of view. They could be stuck up in their head. There could be a serious level of depression here. It has something to do with community stability, some kind of family... Uh, something like this. There's unfinished business. You could be dealing with ch a child or children here. You have a queen of pentacles and a queen of cups, an earth sign and a water sign. Somebody that has both mother or two mother figures here. Somebody warm, caring. I mean, this person seems very reliable and stable. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. There should be some kind of level of equal give and take here, okay? It's, it's, it's six of pentacles talks about benevolence, okay? It's being generous and supportive, but equally handing, not favoring one over the other. Here you go. You got a five of swords in reverse. It looks like with the five of swords in reverse, somebody has regret now. Now they want to compromise, okay? There could be some kind of past resentments. There could be a reconciliation. Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. Maybe they, with the eight of pentacles, they want to work together now. Somebody needs to do the right thing. Here you go. You got a ten of swords. This is going to be a painful ending anyway. It's not. Because whoever you're dealing with here with this nasty ass energy with the King of Rods and the King of Swords in reverse is a cold, cruel person. And it's a narcissistic person that will never admit that they're wrong, never take any responsibility for what they do. And God forbid they ever say they're sorry and try to rectify an unfair situation. It's never going to happen. So this has got to end. Okay? It's going to end. It's over. Ten of Swords. And we got the Queen of Pentacles twice here. Okay? This definitely has to do with finances, family. Show me. Here, yeah, the last card for you, Leo. Five of Cups. Yep, that's it. See, it's ending. Somebody's walking away. That's it. It's five of Cups. Lost, sadness, regret. They're done. That's it. Cry you a river. There's a big disappointment here. Somebody needs to forget about whatever was spilt over. Turn around. Grab whatever opportunities they have in front of them and keep moving forward in a positive direction. Over here. Yeah, look at this. Uh, you can't make this shit up. Six of Swords. What does Six of Swords talk about? Moving forward. Accepting your lessons. Putting distance and departure between whatever ba burdens, baggage, and bullshit or cruel manipulative, mean people that you may be dealing with. I don't care who they are. Relatives, family, friends, uh, exes, co-workers, whatever they are. There's going to be fairness and balance coming into a situation. Hold back and save your money. You do have something or somebody or people, places, and things from the past resurfacing that maybe are going to bring you some kind of a new opportunity for some kind of financial resources. Just be careful that somebody doesn't is not toxic and doesn't want control over a situation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Specifically, there's a King of Pentacles there. It's going to make you very happy. You have the sun again, Leo, okay? So that's how that's going to get to the sun that's coming in. You need to move away from the situation, and that's going to bring fairness and balance into your life, okay? Hold back. Save your money. Be frugal on everything. There is somebody coming around to offer you something, Leo. It's going to be a new beginning for you. So later for these people. Screw them. You don't need them, okay? Now, I'm just going to get you a couple of letters because I'm exhausted from the holiday. And we love you. Can't hear it in my voice. I sound like I'm 12 octaves lower. Um, thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe. I'm hearing Billy. Billy? Does somebody needs to pay a bill? Well, somebody's going <laughs> to bail? Somebody needs to bail somebody out? Oh, I hope not. Triple A? Oh, maybe somebody's breaking down. Please be careful. Two bills? I mean, two Bs, two bills. <laughs> Maybe it's going to cost two bills to pay triple A. Here, yeah, R, F. So the letter R, the letter F. You got a blank, so you can make that whatever you, you want. You have an X. Somebody's going to ask something. That's the facts. Okay, B, F, L, two Bs. R, a blank. Three A's and an X. All right, thank you, Leo. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because calm is real. Till next time, love and light.